Today we'll be finding the density of water using the loaded test tube. Okay, so there's another method of finding the density of a liquid. Okay, so being it glycerin, oil, palm, even soup, right? Soup, water, anything liquid, you can find the density using this method. Okay, so first of all, we have our test tube. This is our test tube. And then we have this water. And then also the mass. So these are the only things we need to find the density of this particular liquid. Okay. So first of all, we have to place a lead shot. Right? We place a lead shot in there. So instead of the lead shot, the lead is supposed to be a metal okay and we we all know that lead is heavier than iron lead is heavier than iron so if this is supposed to be a lead i'm sure you 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 might mishandle it and then it will break the test tube so we used sand sand of equal mass we tied sand so there's a sand that has been tied so the equivalence of the lead is what we have put here okay then we have the calibration we have the calibration on it on the test tube so this is the calibration on the test tube so it just is one centimeter per box okay so first of all we will place this in there without any mass just the lead shot and then let it float then we let it float vertically once it floats then we can take this particular value right there as our x naught okay so we take that one as our x naught so x naught is 19 19.0 cm then the next thing we do is to now we come to the table we place two of this mass okay in there so the x naught which is the initial without any mass was 19.0 we place two of this mass inside then we take the difference so that will be so here will be two grams here will be two grams and then here will be 19.2 then we place the next two then we take the measurement which is 19.4 19.4 so we repeat this procedure for all the balls. We place it two by two till we finish, right? So X naught is not part of the table. Then after that, we do D, right? D is supposed to be the difference between X minus X naught. Then write that one here. So after taking all the values, Okay, we have to measure the diameter of the test tube. We measure the diameter of the test tube, the external diameter of the test tube using the vernier caliper. Okay. So, we record the diameter of the test tube. Right. After that, this the vernier caliper is in millimeters okay so we need to convert it to centimeters because we are using centimeters and then this is also in centimeters the table so we divide the value of the diameter by two to get our radius okay we divide diameter by two to get radius then we come and use the radius right the value of the radius here okay so this is the formula for finding the density now, after plotting our graph, we are supposed to plot D against the mass. Okay, we plot this against this. So we find the slope. The slope is supposed to be equal to 
the slope is supposed to be our n here, right? The slope is our n. Okay. So we put the value of the slope here, and then we put the value of the radius here to find our density. So it's a very simple method for finding density. So once we get our slope, we put it here in the formula. Then we put the radius of the test tube here. Then it will give us our density. So this is a very simple formula or way or method of finding the density of a liquid. So it can be any liquid at all.